Good morning. My name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron. It's Saturday, May 25th. Uh, Going to go out and play a little golf today with a couple of my buddies. But before I do that, uh, head out to hit some chips and putts and drives and so forth. I'm going to do a little chipping and putting here in the plane and do a little practice flight out to one of my favorite fuel stops. It's called Santa Paula Airport. That's KSZP. Um, it's a short flight from Santa Monica, uh, but it sits in a narrow little canyon, so it's got a little degree of difficulty to it. There's some terrain on the right when you fly in for a left downwind to 2.6. We'll see which runway we're landing on today. And just to keep it interesting, there's a couple trees out in front of the runway that make sure that you can't get too low. So this is a good little uh, practice for a short field landing here. And so let's uh, start with uh, the flight plan here. Let me show you what that looks like here. Uh, there it is. We're going to be going KSMO to Ventura to a little uh, way visual waypoint called Satakoy Bridge and then into KSZP. And so let's go ahead and head on into the plane and get started here. We're going to go click on new flight here. We are in uh, 768 Foxtrot Sierra, which is a Cirrus Turbo Normalized. We're going to go KSMO for Santa Monica Airport. We're going to figure out, we're going to pick where we start, which is in the uh, Alpha 2 run-up area here. And we're going to confirm that. And then we are going to go with uh, match real-world conditions and track real-world time. So let's go ahead and start the flight here. All right, let's start this baby up. First things first, we're going to go into the uh, glove, com box, glove box here. Glove box open. We're going to get our flight numbers. 27.6 is our Hobbs to start with today. And our engine numbers are 20.9. And we'll check our fuel when we get up top. Let's go ahead and close up that glove compartment and go up top here. Let's put the keys in the ignition here. I've already taken my cap's handle out, and I'm going to put it right here. So let's go ahead and get this baby fired up uh, from up top so you can kind of see what I'm doing down here. And let's get started here. Battery 2. That's going to fire up PFD. And it does. Let's go ahead and start battery one. That's going to fire up the MFD. And it does. Let's go down here a little. See now right here, you'll notice here on my actual fuel right down here, it's set properly. A little quirk of x -plane. You got to go down and make sure it's all set first and, and then uh, come back up top here. Okay, so we're going to go enter, enter, enter. We've got 52 gallons, so normally we'd be going out there to get some fuel. I'm going to click off this pesky little warning light here. I'm going to turn on my strobes and let everybody know we're coming here. And then we're going to go down here to our mixer full, power full. There's two, uh, two positions here on the fuel pump. Push it forward in its boost, push it back in its prime. Right now we want some prime, and we're going to be looking for some fuel flow in here. That's what we want to see. So let's give it four seconds. One 1,000 fuel flow, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four. We'll turn that off. Then we'll pull our power back to one quarter inch ish. Okay, then we're going to go over to our ignition switch here, get that ready to go. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of boost pump to get us started here. And then we're going to fire this baby up. So let's give it a go. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three. And now let's give her a go. Okay, we got a nice good start there. Pull that power back. Let's not burn that engine out right out of the box. Let's go Alt-1. Let's go Alt-2. Let's go Avionics. Okay, we're flying VFR today, so let's go over to our flight plan here for a second. We're going to go KSMO. We're going to go Ventura, Victor, Tango, Uniform, Enter, Enter, Enter. And then we're going to go Visual Flight Point for uh, Satakoy Bridge. That's Victor, Papa, Sierra, Tango, Charlie. Enter, Enter, Enter. Okay. And then K. SZP, which is Santa Paula. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just go ahead and set an altitude restriction while we're here for 2,000 feet at Satakoy Bridge, which will also clear us over some airspace here, which you can see right here on the iPad. We've got some airspace to cover. We're going to be flying right over Camarillo Airport. And you can see that the, we've got to be 2,000 feet over uh, Camarillo, so that we're all set for. Okay, we're flying a 
visual flight rules today. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of help here from our folks at Pilot Edge. I'm going to go connect Pilot Edge here. Connected to Pilot Edge. Okay, you can hear that. All right, so now we're set. So now let's go down here to COM1. Let's load some frequencies here. We're going to go 11915, which is ATIS for Santa Monica. There's one five. We're going to flip that over. We're going to take one two one point nine, which is our ground frequency at Santa Monica. We're going to put uh, one two zero point one for tower on COM one up top. Let's get that in there. There's one then one two five point two. And we're going to go push on COM2 and get our ATIS. Altimeter 3013, arriving and departing runway 3. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information golf. Now putting all that information Santa on my Monica flight Municipal info Airport. sheets here. ATIS information golf. One five five one Zulu, wind three six zero at eight, visibility one zero, sky condition clear, temperature one two, dew point minus two, altimeter three zero one three, arriving and departing runway three. All right, so let's Visual put in three zero one three. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information right. gone. We got want to go down to COM1, switch over to, to ground. Santa Monica Ground, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra at Alpha 2 parking with Golf. i uh, like to taxi to 2 1. Trevor 768, Foxtrot Sierra, Golf G, runway 3, taxi to Alpha. Runway 3, taxi to Alpha 8, Foxtrot Sierra. Okay, I guess we're going on runway 3 here today, folks. <clears throat> okay. Let's do our run up here then in the uh, this area right here. Okay, so let's go back to our checklist here. We've got all this stuff done, so let's just go skip through these. Radio avionics are set. Cabin heat defrost is good. Fuel selector on the fullest tank. The taxing, we're not gonna have to worry about that very much. So let's just go skip through all of that. And let's go before takeoff. Our doors are latched and closed. Our caps handle is good. Our seat belts and shoulder harnesses are good. Our air conditioner uh, is, let's go switch to the rotate to the right. Air conditioner is off, that's all good. Fuel quantity is good. Fuel selector is on the fullest tank. We've got our fuel pump in. We've got our mixture full. Let's set our flaps to 50%. Let's check left there and make sure they're down. That's confirmed. Transponder, we're gonna be flying VFR here, although we might get uh, some Flight following along the way. Autopilots do our autopilot check here. We're going to set our headings down there at uh, 270 ish. Let's go heading mode, and you should see the command bars, the flight director bars, tilting to the right, and they do. So that's going to be our autopilot check here. Uh, navigation radios are set. Cabin heat defrost is set. Brakes are holding. Let's go to our engine page and spool it up to 1700 here. Uh, 17, is, there we go, 17, 10. Now we're going to check our electrical here. Nav goes on. What we're looking for is some movement here on our electrical uh, buses here. Strobe's on. Landing light pushes up all one a little bit. Uh, ice might push it up a little bit further. Pedo heat will push that up a bit further. Now we're going to check our mags. What we're going to be looking for is a drop here on the RPMs, a drop on the RPMs, and a rise on the EGTs. Let's go to the left mag. So we got a drop of about 80 EGTs are rising. That is good. We're going to reset. Now we're going to go for our right mag. We've got a drop of 40 EGTs are rising, and they are. And that's good. Back to both. Back to 1,000. And let's go back to our checklist here. Power lever is good. 
Alternate, we checked all that. Let's get rid of pedo heat. We're not going to need that day. We're not going to need ice day. We don't need our landing lights. We got a sunny day. Voltage is at plus zero. That's good. Pedo heat is not required. Nav lights are Third, off. Mooney We've Mooney got Mooney our uh, Mooney, Mike, landing lights. Magnetos are all good. Flight Mooney, instruments Mooney, are Mooney, set. Mooney, Let's go ahead and set our takeoff. We're going to go underneath the throttle here. Click our takeoff. Go around. That gives me seven degrees of pitch, which will get, which will get me 120 out of the box. That's all good. Good. Let's go check our flight uh, uh, stuff here. Let's go get a rear view. Let's zoom in here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to give it some rudder. We're going to give it some elevator. We're going to go left up, right up. Everything's working properly. That's all good. All right, that is all good. Trim. Let's go check our trim. Trim is going to be in that little takeoff zone here. I'm going to look at my right wing and make sure that that looks good. Okay, trim is good. Autopilot is good. We know how to take off. So let's go to our climb checklist here and then back to the flight plan. Let's, um, KSMO to Ventura is going to be our active leg. So let's go up top here and make that the active leg. So we'll come back around for that one. All right, great. And I believe we are ready now to taxi over to runway three so let's go take off our brake let's take a look out to the right here and let's go to, to runway three Yeah, let's go take a look over there. All right, let's give a call to our friends in the tower here. Let's switch over to COM1 now. Before we switch to COM2, let's put in 126025, which is going to be the ATIS at Camarillo, which is the nearest airport. So let's get that in there. Let's switch that over. And then we'll put in 122.9, which is our CTAF there at... Uh, Santa Paula. Okay, now let's give a call to our friends in the tower here. Santa Monica Tower, Sierra 768 Foxtrot, Sierra holding short runway 3 at uh, Alpha 1. We're 768 Foxtrot, Sierra Santa Monica Ground, what's your direction of flight? Uh, I'm going to make a left downwind to uh, Ventura VOR and then to uh, uh, Satakoy and then Santa Paula. Okay, uh, I'm assuming westbound then. November 768 Foxtrot Sierra, left downwind departure approved, runway 3, clear for takeoff. Left downwind departure uh, approved, clear for takeoff, 8 Foxtrot Sierra. All right, so, so let's, five, Bravo, Yankee, taxi, let's set our uh, frequency. heading for 269, uh, which is where we're going to be heading. Okay, let's do uh, this. Let's use that whole runway. Now, when we're taking off on three, which doesn't happen very often in Santa Monica, we're going to go. We can't make a left turn before we get to the freeway. We'll change that flight altitude to 10,500. Uh, do I need to follow a new flight plan? For now, that? our takeoff briefing, uh, 770 is going to be our caps available. So anything between rotation and 770, we're going to hit the brakes and abort the takeoff. So we're going to pull the power hit the, and abort the takeoff. We have an engine issue between 170 and 770. We're going to pitch for 92, mixture off, tanks off, ignition off, land straight ahead best we can between 770 and 2170 we're going to pull the parachute mixture off tanks off ignition off and float straight ahead let's go ahead and do this let's get it going okay keep her down the runway there get that rudder in there okay we're all the way in eyes down the runway start pulling back keep her over the center of the runway here 90 knots, flaps up, trimming. Set our indicated airspeed for 120 on our climb. John Wayne, uh, ground, this is 148 Charlie Papa with Victor, ready to go to the active. 148 Charlie Papa, John Wayne, ground, confirm squawking normal and your assigned code. Coming up on the freeway here. Up to 105, and I do have that confirmed in the transponder. 
is the transponder on? Yes, it is. I've been having problems with it the last time I was using it, too. It All right, to let's be turn to the left here now. Rapidly is what they're saying. It just keeps sending the signal. Is that what you're getting? I don't even see your transponder is on, and I can't give you any service until you get your transponder to operate an altitude recording with your code on. Okay, I'm going to reset it, see if you pick it up. Now we're going to 4,000 feet here. Got our active leg set, so I'm going right to put nav got an and right T0 right back, back up T0. there. Okay, I was looking at my radios here. What, could you repeat that? Runway T0 right, taxi via, a correction runway, uh, sorry, runway 2 left, taxi via Bravo Delta. And it looks like your IDENT is stuck on. I don't know if you can see that without required. the transponder turn off entirely, but you can't have the IDENT stuck on either. Let's go to our checklist, climb checklist, oxygen is not required, power lever is good, mixture is good, air speed is right on the money, electric fuel pumps on, fuel flow is good, engine parameters are good. Alright, I'll go back to 1200 and reset it and see if we can do anything. Okay, in that case, just hold position and see, just figure it out for us. Let's get back to 4000 here. Go to our cruise checklist. Name of ground, Moody 5083 Whiskey at the GA parking Okay, there we are at 4,000. Let's pay attention. Let's pull back our power level, then we'll go and get the checklist here. Okay, let's get a 29.5 ish. Let's pull our mixture back to about 16.1 ish. There we go. Let's, we don't need to be cramming through here. Let's keep our speed good here, 4,000. November 5083 Whiskey Runway 35, taxi via Zulu 3, back taxi runway 35. Alright, so right now we're heading for runway Ventura, three, five, we're all good. Cruise is set, fuel pumps three, five, good, mixture is good. Ascent. Okay, so now let's start monitoring ATIS. Okay, so you can kind of hear what's going on there. So it's 080, so it looks like we're going to be landing on runway 8. So let's switch over to our CTAP on comp 2. And go back up top here and back to the map here. Okay, so time to top it down. Now you notice over here we set... Uh, it's rather the identity. Of VNAV restriction, okay, of 2,000 feet. So I'm going to get that VNAV right, working well, for us. Right down here, you'll see we're 9 minutes and 35 seconds from our top of descent. Um, we're going to pull back our power now because we don't need to be screaming through here. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm not exactly tech support. So you can either email ops or you can ask in tech support in the Discord. Okay, let's get our speed under. So I'm going to pull our power back considerably here, get it going a little bit. Let's get it about 130, 135 ish in here. All right, let's put some power back in there now. 60% in here would be fine. All I see is that you're squawking. Hello, like Scott. This. Hello, LABK. Um, nice to have you on board here today. Let's go back okay, into the... Uh, okay, so now we're coming up. Santa Monica Tower, 8 Fox Trots here at 4000. Are you going to switch me to SoCal Approach or I'm just staying with you? Uh, you never ask for anything from SoCal. And uh, you don't need to stay on the Delta the tower frequency once you leave the Delta. So you can leave whatever the frequency, whatever you want. Okay, thank you very much. All right, fair enough. Le learn something new again. I don't fly okay, VFR very much. So let's go direct, enter, right enter, right enter right nav. And we're going to click over and start heading for Ventura right. here. Let's declutter here a little bit. Let's get rid of the map profile. Bang, let's declutter back. Declutter one. I just want to see what I want to see here. Okay, we're at 3014. Okay, now we got our short little flight in here. And it looks like we're going to be landing on runway 8. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm going to go over here to my iPad and do a little bit of advanced planning here. We're going to go to the procedure here. We're going to go approach. We want a visual for runway 04. And we're going to come straight to in for the runway 4. Papa 15, Las Vegas Tower. Uh, Bear Pose, Actually, you know what? To do this properly, visual runway 1 left. I'm going to change that. Traffic pattern is right pattern for one left. Currently in the loop. Crossfit midfield direct. It's actually a. Uh, it's actually a. Um, we got to cross the midfield and come back in and then make a right traffic for four. There's a lot of traffic around here at Santa Paula, so I'm not flying an IFR plant, so we're going to have to play ball here and uh, do this. Okay, so let's just uh, keep an eye on both of these. We're going direct Ventura. All right. Now, right here, you're getting a little uh, insight, if you're not familiar with Pilot Edge, about why I think it's such a, a, a wonderful tool here. Um, and that's because they actually teach you about talking to ATC and so forth. So I learned a little lesson there. Uh, normally, I would have asked for flight following. I didn't do it this morning because it's just kind of rushing through this today. Um, but just wanted to get some practice in. Um, these are the kind of flights I used to fly all the time in my actual Cirrus. But I've done it so many times now that I feel comfortable in terms of just keeping the routine going of just flying here on the sim. And uh, it's actually really good practice here. Okay, so let's come up close so you can see what's going on. We're going direct Ventura right now. As you can see it right here. You can see, I'm going to put it on the iPad so you can see that that is confirmed there as well. Now, what I've done here on the iPad is I've, you'll notice I've put in that approach where I'm going to fly straight across. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of go and follow that line here. But to get a little help on it, uh, I'm going to go down to the nav log here. Okay, see, so once we get to... VPSTC are heading from there. What's our heading going to be? It's going to be 18 degrees is our heading. So I'm going to make a little note of that. 18 degree heading uh, off of HTC or uh, STC. Okay, that way I can you know just track that line there and we'll be in good shape now we're at 4,000 feet here now we see a little bit of terrain up there right so it's usually not much of an issue here but just to make sure let's go back to that map for a second let's put in that profile and you can see here if we if we come in that we're we're over the terrain here so that's the kind of stuff I look at now I can kind of see it visually but I like to confirm uh, as much as possible. Let's go back to our flight plan here and you can kind of see our flight plan and so we're going direct Ventura right now. We've got four minutes and 30 seconds to our top of descent. Okay, so now I'm going to use my VNAV profile here to help me out uh, a bit here and so let me show you how we're going to do that. Here's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set 2000 on our altitude select which will match our VNAV reference altitude. Anything at that number or below will activate it. Now over here on the VNAV profile, you see we have three minutes and 55 seconds to our top of descent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to click the VNAV. So let's just go down here. I'm going to click the VNAV and you see it lit up here on this one. It's a little bit different setup than I have here. So you can see right here it is lit up here as well. All right. So let's go back to our view here and let's come out top so you can see what we're doing. There's the beautiful Pacific Ocean here. Never get tired of seeing that. Out to the right, looking at the Ventura Freeway and the like. Beautiful view out there. All right, so everything is set up for VNAV, which says it should be starting in about three minutes and six seconds okay so okay so now i'm coming into this area here which can have a lot of traffic so i'm going to slow down here a little bit to about 120 ish see i've just pulled my power back to get us in the ballpark here we've got two minutes and 31 seconds to our top of descent I'm going to show you the iPod, iPod, iPad here for a second. Now, you see we're going to be making a right turn here, and then we're going to be coming across 
this Camarillo airspace. And you can see up in the right corner of that big 2-0, that's our altitude we got to stay at. So I'm at 4,000. I'll be descending to 2,000 at that Sadakoy waypoint right in the middle here. So that's my reference point. From there, I'll make my uh, entry into Santa Paula. Now, let's go get the... the uh, some information for Santa Paula here. Let's go KZP, K, K, S, Z, P. Okay, there's Santa Paula. Our elevation at Santa Paula is 250 feet. I'm going to 850 is our traffic pattern altitude, which is a lot lower than in most cases. Okay, now let's speed her up a little bit. I'm getting preoccupied here and got a little slow. Okay, so let's go 120 is fine. Let's get back to the map here on that so I can see it. Let's get rid of that flight plan stuff right there. Okay, we're going to be making this turn here in one second. And in fact, we are actually making that turn now on autopilot. Now, I'm going to take it off of autopilot right now. I'm going to, first, I'm going to sync up my heading here. Okay. And now we're heading for the uh, waypoint up there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off, I'm going to put on heading mode here right now, okay? And I'm going to take her off autopilot and fly this by hand. And I'm going to see, we should see the V path kick in here. Now you see the reference, my little bug here is already showing me the level I need to be at. So once this thing switches over to, to uh, V path, I'll just follow it down by hand. Okay, so we got 24 seconds to go here. I said our heading is going to be 18 to cross the runway here, so we're going to keep that in mind. We're at 323 right now. Okay, let's slow her down a little bit. Okay, now you see VPath is kicked in here, so I'm just going to follow the flight director here. I'm going to pull back our power here. I'm going to go over to our map here. I'm going to go to our checklist because now I got our descent checklist. 3014 is our altimeter. Landing light is now on. Fuel system is checked. Now, what I'm going to do here also is I'm going to put our mixture full right now because it gets a little jakey here in X plane. So let me get it set properly here. All right, there we go. So I'm just following the flight director down to 2,000 feet here. Now, mixture is as required. Oxygen is good. Let's go back to our map here. We're just tracking that line right there. And our next heading is going to be 18. So you can see we're going down to 450 feet a minute right over here on the VNAV profile says we need 473 feet to get down to that 2,000. So we're just tracking that flight director, which is doing all the work for me here. But I'm flying this one by hand. I'm going to make believe that my very expensive autopilot just clicked out on me. And all I can do is cry about it, but I can't fix it up here. So I'm just going to stay with it. And we're just going to fly this baby down here, OK? So we're going to keep those yellow and pink together. It's that simple. Now, for all the other pilots go, you got to look out the window. Of course, we're looking out the window. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. A lot of traffic in here at Santa Paula, so you got to be paying attention. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go switch over to mic 2 here, and we're just going to monitor those other guys here. And I'm going to just kind of let everybody know that we are a little bit southeast of uh, Sadequay. So I'm going to give a little call here right now. Santa Paula traffic, Silver Cirrus, 2,900 descending for 2,000 at Sadequay. Uh, I'm going to cross midfield and then enter a right traffic for 04, Silver Cirrus. All right, so we got 3.3 miles to Sadakoy there, as you can see. We're tracking those lines here nicely. We're going to have to switch to 18 degrees is going to be our heading once we get to 
Sadakoy. So we're just flying it by hand. We got good speed here, 120 knots, which we don't need to be screaming through here. I'm looking for traffic here the whole time. Listening on the radio to make sure there's nobody else around. Right on that 2,000, two more miles. And we're going to switch to 1 8 heading here in a second. Okay, we got 1.3 miles to go. At about point eight, I'm going to start changing my heading. Point one eight. Okay, there's our two thousand. Now we're going to switch and follow one eight, which I picked up off of the uh, iPad, and I'm now going to track. The, the Bravo or the, the Charlie Airspace Charlie Airspace at um, Sadakoy. So now I want to start lowering my altitude to about a thousand here. So let's go vertical speed 500. Sadakoy or uh, Santa Paula traffic Silver Cirrus uh, 5.3 miles uh, southwest of the airport. We're going to cross over the airport uh, at midfield. And then circle around for right traffic to 04. Not a good traffic. Okay, so now we got good speed in here. We don't get too fast in here. Following my now, I'm going to look at my iPad here. And we're right on track so far. You can see on the TFD KSCP is over there because we got our synthetic vision all lined up here. We're going to come down to 1,100 feet ish. And we're looking good. Over here on the right, you can somewhere in here is our Sadakoy Airport here, or uh, excuse me, Santa Paula Airport. Try. I'm just going to leave that iPad up there so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, normally you don't see water out here. I'm wondering if that water we're seeing today is because they know it's been raining like hell and there's now water where I've never seen water. Now I'm going to go back to my nav log. We've got 18. Let's keep it. Hang on. Hang on. Pay attention here. From here, we're just going to eyeball it. Okay, so now we're getting down to 1100 here. Yeah, that is really interesting. They're showing all this water out here. There's the airport off to our right now. So now I'm going to put in some flaps here, because now I'm right where I want to be. Start pulling our power back. Santa Paula traffic, Silver Series at 1100. We're uh, entering the right downwind for 2-2 uh, two, two right now. Now I'm going to get rid of the flight director and start to do this by eyeball here. Now I got 90 knots, which is kind of where I want to be here. There is, where is my runway? There it is over there to my right. The toughest part of the sim here is just trying to get everything. So now we're a beam, the end of the run. So 
And now we're going to circle across there. We're going to go out a little bit further. Okay, so now we want to turn around Santa Paula traffic, Silver Cirrus at uh, 1100. We're crossing uh, or beam the uh, runway 21. We're circling around to enter the left downwind for four for right traffic to 04. Okay, now let's get us down to about 850 is where we want to be. So we're going to be circling around here to the left a little bit. I'm going to make sure we stay over this terrain here. And we want to come around for a 2 2 ish. Okay, coming around. Let's get 2 2 so we're parallel. Okay, let's go make sure we don't crash into anything here. Here's 2-2. Two, two. Then we went 310 here. Let's go look to the right here. Okay, let's now start edging to the right a little bit. Let's put our flaps in there now. Santa Paula traffic, Silver Series making right base for 04. There's 310. Santa Paula traffic, Silver Series making final for uh, 04. And now we got to get her down here a little bit quickly. 500. Looking good. Flaps are in. All right, there we are. You know, we're going to exit to the left here. Flaps up. Santa Paula traffic. Silver Cirrus clear runway four heading back to the fuel pumps. There's the fuel pumps over here. Turn off our fuel pump, cycle the engine here, back on, mixture all the way off, engine is stopped. Okay, let's turn off our Tito heat land light. Let's put our trim back in here before we get rid of everything. Okay, great. Turn off our ignition. Let's go back to the glove box real quick here. Open it up. We've got 27.7, which I'll put over here. And then we've got uh, 21.4.
and our fuel we, we're going to fill that up here right now okay uh, i want to thank you for joining me here today let me see if there's any questions i'm running here it's nice day to fly here having one of my kids birthday at the airport it's great all right good run scott's been flying his brand new cirrus every day gotta love that uh i know that's good i'm gonna get going you guys all have a great saturday out there look forward to seeing you again soon my name is steve rennie i am the ren baron this is my ren baron learning to fly youtube channel see you later no, no.